Ramesh. But wait. Hallelujah. There's still a problem. Because the man has heard the message. And he's still stuck. Somewhere between the mouth of the preacher and the man's ankles, something did not go right. Because he's still in the same position. Just like a lot of us in the body of Christ. We've heard sermon after sermon. Been to seminar and conferences. Have the word of God flowing in our lives. Been anointed with oil. Had hands laid on us. But after all of that, we're still stuck. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus. And listen, Peter could have walked off and left him there. But Peter said no. I'm going to take ministry to another level. Can I tell the church tonight? That it's time for us to take ministry to another level. Because it's one thing to just preach to people. It's one thing to just lay hands on people. But I believe we need to be like Jesus. We've got to get involved. We've got to take time to listen. We've got to take time to love. We've got to take time to get our hands dirty. So Peter could have left him there. But he said no. My ministry has to go to another level. So instead of leaving him there, the Bible says he reached out and took him by the hand and lifted him up. We need a ministry that's going to help you. I need you to help me up. When I fall and I need somebody that's going to reach out and help me up. Don't talk about me, help me up. Don't criticize me, help me up. We need a ministry that's going to help people up. And the Bible says immediately. His ankle bones received strength. They tell me that this man was there for 40 years. And all it took was a word from God. And a helping hand. And immediately. His ankle bones received strength. So we talked about his problem. We talked about his position. We talked about his progression. And now let's talk about his praise. How many of you know when you've been delivered? There is a praise that will come from the depths of your heart. 
Nobody will have to beg you to praise God. Nobody will have to push you to praise God. Oh, but there's a praise. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Hallelujah. The Bible says in he after his ankle bones received strength that he leaping up stood and walked with them into the temple walking and leaping and praising his God hallelujah hallelujah and I like what the Bible says hallelujah I like what the Bible says. It says all the people saw him. He was not ashamed to give his God some praise. He said my God's been good. And I'm going to praise him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody looked at him funny. But he said, Go ahead and look at me, but my God's been good and I'm going to praise him. Somebody criticized them. But he said, Go ahead and criticize me. My God's been good. And I'm going to praise him. Hallelujah. 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 Yes. And notice where he went. How many ever they You see, when he was bound, he was outside the gate. But when he got up, where does the Bible say he went? Bible and Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Into the temple. He said, I've been out of the presence of God too long. Now I'm going through the outer court. Now I'm going through the inner court. Now I'm going into the holy. He said, I'm going to get my blessing. I'm going to get my miracle. I'm going to get my healing. He said, I'm no longer going to be stuck at the gate. I've come out to tell somebody tonight. Rise up and go into the temple. Go into the presence of God. Get everything that you need from God. And if you're stuck today, I've come by with a word for you. In the name of Jesus, rise up and walk. Rise up and walk. Hallelujah. Let God set you free. Rise and be healed. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Everyone stand to your feet right now. Hallelujah. Everybody lift those hands and take a moment and worship God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah.